Snazzy title screen. Chapter 1 plus 2 demo. Path from Prisma. By Sayuri. SRC. Moon A. Muna. Six years. I can't believe it's been that long. Feels like an eternity. And I'm only 18. When it really began, I was 12. It's crazy. I was that young when I helped my old friend defeat the Demon Ghost King. If I put it like that, it sounds pretty stupid, right? Especially saving the world at that age. But stranger things have happened to me. Let's see, it was three years after that when I had another quest? Certainly crazy enough to beat the first. The other girl I traveled with, Sakari, the assassin. Together we stopped Lord Monumentons. Twins? From using the time-space powers of the Sophistorius Crystal to keep the world at a standstill. The battle was long. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel as if it gave me a sense of finality. Of course, defeating Monumentons was what Sicari was ultimately here for. And so, we had to say our goodbyes. I must have broken her back with the hug I gave her. I'll never forget the time we spent together. After all these years, I finally decided to go down... Go on my own path. About one year ago, I repaired an old, but refillable, reliable-looking ship that was washed ashore. I've been using it to travel the world. I decided to name her the Sakor after the purpose I found for myself. I realized I lived to help people through their struggles, the well-off and downtrodden alike. Now I've reached my next stop, the island nation of Prisminia. Who knows what wonders I might stumble across here and people to help. What's up, Wergoose? How you doing? Prologue, a perfect place. Alright, the Sakor. Adjust this really quick. Let's go to our own boat. Here's a boat. I can go in boat. I can save in boat. Your game has been saved. You can find save blocks in every hub, city, town, or village. Good to know. Many dots. Not right now. Really was the one who told me that too much TV is bad for you, but he's also the one who gave me the special TV that somehow works without being plugged into the satellite or anything. Maybe he was trying to tell me something. My bed is so comfy. Sometimes I miss living inside the princess's castle. Living with royalty gave me everything I could have lived. Give me everything. I could have lived in that bed if I wanted to. Oh, hello. Power up. I guess it's the bathroom right there. How about the fridge? Oven? I need to buy a waffle iron, gosh darn it. The absolute regret of moving out and realizing, Drat, you forgot to bring something. I've had to settle with pancakes for now. Simplano would hate this. To appreciate a game that has a bit of lived-in nature. Nifrid gave me these detailed books about the planet's geography so I can travel safely. Oh, I miss that ghost a lot. Alright, well, that was fun. It's a nice boat. Nice boat. Let's go to the docks. I guess this is also a hub. The toad ran away from me. Oh, a new face, eh? Welcome to the country of Prisminia. More specifically, it's docks. There's not much to see here right now, though. All of our ships are out on supply runs. Why not go see our capital city? Take Prism Path right down south of here. It's a straight line to the city. Can't miss it. Safe travels. But you can't escape me with your fanny, fancy hat. I'm so tired of being on these docks. Our ships will be out for a while, and I'm so bored. My friend called out sick, so I offered to cover for her, but I failed to realize she's assigned to the night shift. That means I'm working a double today. Why am I like this? Eh, uh, good guy, Toad. Volunteers for dumb things. And suffers for his work. Nope. Apologies, miss. The shipyard is locked down. I'm under strict orders from her lordship to guard it. 
but you missed the fact that I jump way better than you, Toad. But it's actually locked down. I guess I'm not going that way. Let's go to the prison path. Because there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Ooh. Nope, nothing down there. Well, this might be like a big exploration level, but maybe not. Good morning. I'm looking for coins. You seem new, so let me explain how this works here. On Prisminia and its sister nations, coins of magical origin appear in all kinds of nooks and crannies. Let me give you a small tip. Go out of your way to collect any coins you can. Thank me later. Well, there's a three-digit coin counter that's usually a sign that I probably want more coins in my life. Altini mod moderation quack jam. Uh, I was initially planning to do quack jam today, but then I ran into other constraints and it didn't happen. How you doing, Max? It's more of a this is what is possible today. Otherwise, I probably would have played like some random DOS thing. But I'll get back to quack jam early next week. But, eh, well, actually, I'm not that early. It will get done, I assure you. I'm at least ahead on the uh, the textual side of things. Having mo written most of the... Oh, it's doing that thing I hate. HDMA. When opening doors. It's a very small... thing. But it's annoying. It has to do with having uh, the gradient stuff in the wrong mode. Curiosity. Does that mean that the moon coins stick? It's gonna make my life easier, I suppose. So you can patch out? Yes, indeed, you can. How you doing, Boozius? At least the death fanfare is funky? Indeed. Alright, coins once collected stay collected. That is good to know. Good to know. Nope. Well, mistakes are made. Double mistakes are made. See so Uber SM where you don't store zero to channels for DMA during certain game modes. Ah, okay. That makes more sense than my prior understanding. Sometimes you just gotta dupe things. How you go? Anyway, I wanted to get uh, do more Quack Jam today, but uh, just I got started on everything so late. Like everything today was so late. Um, like I woke up late. I got moving late. Uh, I ate dinner late. Just everything was late. In fact, last like hour or so, I've mostly been making cookies, and that's not a euphemism. I just literally had this cookie dough. I need to make it because otherwise it won't get made. It takes about an hour to cook about three dozen cookies. It's not exactly an hour, but it takes roughly an hour to cook three dozen cookies. So. Just everything late today. Oh. I cannot jump for today for some reason. Just running late. Shell. It's a highly hazardous path. It's meant to be the standard way to get to town. It's a lot of Koopas. Uh, sitting on some scones yourself, also not a euphemism. <laughs> sitting on scones does sound like a euphemism, though, doesn't it? Um... Normal time for a place left time change in 16 ish hours? Uh, are you having a time change? We already had a time change about two weeks ago. Game's been saved. Looks like it's locked. I mean, duh, this is a city where people live. I shouldn't be trying to go up to random people's apartments. I mean, it depends on what kind of hero you are, I suppose. But yeah, I would have liked to have started about an hour ago. Same message. But I ran to some people while I was eating, so it took some extra time, and you know how that goes. Love it here. Make a good earning. 
Friends in abundance, and life is smooth. We don't even need unions, because management will give us anything at the drop of a hat. I think the best part is that every single community vote actually means a damn. Can't ask for much more. I mean, if every vote means something, that means that you're not actually doing much democracy. For Europe, it's the last Sunday in your, uh, March. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Are we zero suit samus? No. Though I will not uh, begrudge you for mistaking her for that. It is... Um... Who is this? Moonlight, I believe her name is? Based upon this text I just read right now. Isn't Goon City just the finest place you've ever seen on this planet? My life here is just perfect. Like, that's a death flag if I had never seen one. Like, I really got, think these people are gonna die. Since I moved to Goon City, things have been looking up. My wife is expecting the pay I'm getting for my new job. My finance issues are a thing of the past. How is this not the norm? This is the weird toad who constantly runs back and forth in the city. Top this? No, those are not solid. Red hat or red shirt? I'd rather have a red hat than a red shirt, but I'd rather not wear a hat. Uh, right in the city, the entrance lies unguarded. Eh, whatever. I'll... Oh, hello, don't mind me, I'm just lost in thought. Alright, well that's clearly an interesting place to go, we'll deal with that later. I knew I'd be able to get a, that promotion. It's actually a breeze. Now I'll have even more paid leave than I had before, and I'll even get more family time. It almost feels like a dream. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they are dead. One of my favorite things from mystery, um, any given mystery hunt was there was a particular puzzle involving, I think, kind of Clue and the Conlang Chaotic. And one of the particular sentences that was translated was, uh, Mr. Body was a red shirt, and the universe is a red shirt killer. Though that does depend on how you translate the, the new chaotic, because there's different declensions and things. But I'm not I'm not an expert in that particular field. Did you know our city doesn't even have an army? Only royal guards, and even so, they don't do much. Historically, the city has been in an era of perfect peace ever since Omelas has been, was elected. There's no veterinary. It's like a clock. It all works. Oh, I think I wound him too tightly. Alright. Trying to get an audience with her lordship? Why, go ahead. She loves visitors. As a ruler, she comes across as overly a hacks, to be frank. So we gotta go see Omelas. Hello, traveler. Are you here to speak with her highness? La Cerie. Is that alright? Are they busy? Not at all! Step forward, and her lordship will see you. Why, hello, young lady. What's your name? Hi there, I'm Moonlight. So you're the ruler of this land? Oh, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Omelis, leader of Gwyn City, and ruler of Prisminia. I can tell you're new around here. Why don't I give you a little tour? Come, I'll show you around while we talk. Wow, 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 wow. Even better. Let's go! Real guard, elected leader, something doesn't end up? You are correct, Kappa. Then people, like, just live here for without needing anything? To, needing to pay anything? Correct. The way Goon City is, most Prisminians are allowed free, fully subsidized housing. Not a cent of anyone's paycheck ever goes into rent, honor, home ownership, utilities, none of that. Money only goes into what people actually want to spend their money on, to put it simply. I mean, people do like real estate. It's a bit odd, but okay. Good grief. I mean that in the best possible way. This is just too good to be true. Golly, if I wasn't a traveling adventurer living on a ship, then I'd think about moving here. Ah, say, Moonlight, apologies for the upfrontness. But what exactly is the main reason for your arrival here? Oh, right, right. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot, being so fascinated by this place. Okay, so to get to the point, I want to ask if there's been anything weird happening lately, or anything bad happening that you haven't been able to deal with. Yes, there is something. On the West Island, near the northern tip, there lies a thieves' hideout. Those ruffians, let me tell you, they mug unsuspecting passerbys, passerby, passerbys, at knife edge, that's plural there, 
and sell their belongings on the black market. There's a threat to our citizens' safety, and I worry that they might try to cross the West Gap and get into our beloved city. That seems like really, da that seems really dangerous and like just plain evil. Oh my goodness. But that sounds exactly the situation I can help with. Oh, Ellis. Can I get your blessing to put a stop to these thieves? Well, uh, wait, sorry for my stuttering. I just want to know something first. I can't help but notice that you're here by yourself. Do you work alone? I do, but not because I'm against having companions or friends. I wouldn't be standing here if not for friends I've made through my life. I choose the path that I'm walking right now, and I'm doing what I want to do. To be honest, I'm an anime protagonist, and I'm the happiest I've ever been in a long time. A few years, at least. Traveling the world, helping anyone who needs it, big and small, that's me. I respect that. You didn't have to, but thank you for confiding in me with that. Very well, Moonlight. You have my trust. I won't pry anymore. In that case... Moonlight, take this orb with you. Browser, what's it do? Adorned with the symbol of Prismania on it. Uh, our levitation orb will I'll let you cross the wide chasms ahead on the West Island and beyond. Please use it well. I gotcha. Well, it seems like that's everything. Cross the gap, head to the north tip of the island. Alrighty. It was lovely meeting you, Amelis. I'll see you after I deal with these thieves. Thank you, Moonlight. We wish for your safe return. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps this arrangement could work highly in our favor. Yeah, it strikes me as evil. Highly evil. How you doing, Del? <laughs> How you doing, Herosoft? Power of anime, indeed. Well, I've gotten the ability to float now. That's kind of cool. And that toad's gone now. Intriguing. Okay, pipe is bi-directional. That's a good thing. Uh, can I spin float? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Spin float is such a fun mechanic that you rarely get to use. Okay, none of these pipes are going nowhere. Not exactly sure why I came down here. Didn't see that coming. Wait, 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 wait. Saw a weird toad there. Wait, what? Can we go back to the city? Um... So it's bi-directional, may your, wave, your waveforms be bi-directional, you're off to bed. Sleep where, well, where goose. Alright, we'll go back to the city once I complete this particular exit, because it's already here. Um, but yeah, we'll look at the weird toad. Definitely we'll look at the weird toad. Enter the sewer and go back, okay. I appreciate the perceptiveness of my audience sometimes. Alright, so into the pipe. Out of the pipe. You're right, there was a weird toad right there. Um, what I would guess is that the weird toad is an NPC that represents the door, because there's no actual door there. Because every single door has the same message. And I, that's just what it is, and then it becomes invisible after a single frame. We can just see it because we did the the loop there. A little bit weird, but nothing like that I'd mark down for moderation. Like you gotta use the implementation you have if you're not a ASM kind of person. And I imagine the NPC stuff just works in a funny way. Having never used it myself, but I know that people do love it. Including but not limited to, of course, Daiso. And Jamie, who was formerly... The Jamie formerly known as Faro. Okay, there we go. Is that a hole in the ceiling? Nope, just texture. 
There. There. Ah, I get a, a moon coin. Kind of regret getting a moon coin, to be honest. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not high enough. Use it for birthday, too, for a Gaia. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. What's up, All Circus? Thanks for the good luck. Reminds me. Did... No. I haven't got a response yet on that. All right. Guess we could check out the secret level we found. There's a weird toad here. This is Guin City's block repository. Here we make special blocks which we export to other cities and kingdoms all over the planet. I... you sure do? thought it was big, because I'm not... Why is this block spinning non-stop? It's... this is so... mesmerizing. I can't... stop! I think I can almost ignore my boss's whining to get back to work. We're more open with others than you may think. That is to say... We graciously share our resources with places from all over the planet. I guess the reason I like this job so much is because I like feeling like... I, I like the feeling of making a positive impact. We're weird people, Toads. Or weird Toads people. I do feel like with duping I could get in this pipe, but I think from this angle I can't really. Never mind. I got in the pipe. Oh, what's up, Ninny Goose? That I feel like I know who you are. How you doing? What's up with the? If you don't mind me asking, what's up with the name change? Goo, indeed. That is definitely a big hint. You still fine? All right. That's full of spikes. That is really full of spikes. Maybe we won't go that way. Good to know it's there, though. I guess we'll continue forward through the block factory. Past the thing that nerd sniped me. And onward. Oof, sorry. Normally have giant cranes here. A giant... Normally have our giant crane here that doubles as a bridge. But it was requested to be moved elsewhere by her lordship. It won't be back for a while. Another gap? You gotta be kidding me. It's even bigger than the other one. You get the feeling it'll be a while before I can see what's over there. It does scream either of those things. Come back later or bring power-ups. Yeah, definitely not getting through there. What's up, Blackbird? How you doing? Uh, you're the overworld song, you think of Project Dump? I don't think I've played Project Dump. I'm gonna guess that's, like, a thing later that might either be in the game or possibly not in the game. This is a demo, after all. This will go to the Prism Gap. Use that song for your test overworld? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I have my levitation orb now. I definitely feel lighter with it. Maybe I should hold out my concentration longer when I jump. I mean, we already figured that one out. Hey, Traveler, have you noticed these big coins with white snakes on them? Those are Ur Ursulite coins embedded within our, city with our city's twin snakes on them. A city guard told me something. They're hidden all over the place, not just in Prismin Prisminia proper. Something's supposed to happen if you find every one of them. But I don't have that kind of fortitude. Oof, that sounds super interesting. I'll keep my eye out for them as I travel. I have no idea how many there's going to be in the game. So it's going to be tricky to find them all. I found three so far, I can't complain. Unfinished hack's been put on ice, gotcha. More than face value. Hmm. And it feels like there's a wall jump possibility there. For a standard hack, like, I'm a little bit nervous about blind jumps. 
But I also have the ability to float, so who cares? Oh, you- that's- You're not a regular Chuck. You're a weird Chuck. A really weird Chuck. I can't go quite that way. There's a hammer bro up there. Come on, I'm gonna let you- oh, pff, never mind. No scratching time. Mistakes were made. Not very big ones, though. Apparently we hit the midway. Um... Yeah! Ah, oh, there's infinite lives. Whenever you see square cutouts in background walls, Kirby taught you to uh, check them at their doors. Interesting. I'll take a look. No guarantees, of course. But I'll keep a lookout for them. Yeah, these right here. Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Huh. I don't have Kirby instincts, unfortunately. But I also don't think Kirby instincts would serve me well right here. There we go. Okay, now to go over that. Leave Charlie alone and get like four friggin' coins for my effort. So that was what was above where I was. All right, one more dumb, dumb things to try. There was, in fact, not death down there. Good to know. All right, progress has been made. Vaguely want to see what that platform looks like, but I also don't think it matters too much. Yeah, okay, that's just getting up here. It's a big space, you see. You gotta explore the space. Chatting with some people about Blue Oyster Call today, and that line didn't even come up. Alright. There's nothing important over here. And that's death. Well, we're trying. How many exits have I gotten already? One? A lot of text. Zero. Who knows how many exits I've gotten? Gotta stop doing that. Crushing Goombas by flying over them. Very satisfying. Let's try out the lower path instead. We've been doing the upper path a lot. Eh, yeah, lose a little bit. Okay, so that's not important, is what I can tell right there. Tiny bit of cutoff. Not important cutoff, but cutoff nonetheless. If there's anything I've learned in this business, let's let the amazing final line hammer brothers stay on top of the screen so you can't see his hammers. Then they don't exist. Whee! Something down there. A bunch of pipes. Just 
still a bunch of pipes. Pipe wrench for kids. Okay, cool, we've explored the space. Pretty sure there's a secret down here. Well, there was a secret down there. I've gotten at least one exit, I suppose. I hate that Galumba. And yes, they're Galumbas now, according to the quiz from yesterday. Interesting fact. So, um, I looked at the VOD from yesterday. And the VOD, the, uh, hack Mario's Quest for Soft Tacos or whatever, does use a kind of new overworld level name, ASM. What's interesting about it is that, uh... Turns out that they had also named their levels things that were very reasonable, despite the fact that they were using a new ASM that I don't support. And so almost every level was something that was evocative of the actual level that they used, that they had named. In fact, the SMB3 level was literally called SMB3 level, which I find very amusing. And so did Donut when I pointed this out to him. Keep going to interesting places, but not finding any, uh, weird coins. Thank goodness there's no lives. Flip into those slope diamonds? I wasn't trying to, but it's theoretically possible because they're upward slopes. But even if I can't clip into them, it's not a big deal because they're um, probably not a soft lock. B. Usually SMW doesn't have proper tiles. Yeah, people use the slope tiles in, in not ideal ways. I'm certainly familiar with that. I'm only really worried if it actually causes problems. Like you can see right here, the upper slopes seem to be working okay. Um, but I'd point out any that I actually find. My suspicion, given this is a, uh, a new version of a demo that's already been approved, is I'll find very little. But we'll see. It has twice the levels it had before. Wait, those are red. Those are red. New phone, who this? No, this is Patrick. How you doing, Steven? I even said these are red and immediately jumped onto the pipe and got hit. This game doesn't like giving power-ups for some reason. Big sprawling levels. You'd think that there'd be some power-ups in some odd corner of this, but no, it's just... Good luck. So that's all it is. After 30 years, goodbye and good luck? I don't remember saying good luck. Same problem. But who was dog? Good question. Spent half the night man spreading managed democracy. Oh, nice. How am I? I'm doing pretty good. I spent part of the night making cookies. Um, I made the dough last night. I just need to cook them. Bake them, I suppose. And they've turned out quite well. I usually have the first... Usually the first batch is pretty sacrificial. Because I always forget exactly how long you're supposed to cook them. Um, but I start with 13 minutes. When really it's about a 14 minute thing. But I left them just long enough. Because I was in another room and had to do something else that it, they worked out, so. About 36 odd, a little bit less than 36 odd good cookies. Hate Tet doing that. Nice score, I wasn't even looking. Oh yeah, I was, no, wait, 36, how many 
The score is uh, 10. Mm. But yeah, I'm taking them to... <sighs> There's cookies? Yeah. I'm taking to a friend's, uh, let's say, hullabaloo tomorrow. Because last time I went, I didn't bring anything, and I feel felt kind of bad about it after the fact. I'll have plenty of cookies to distribute. It's not like spreading democracy, but there'll be cookies to spread, so that's probably good, too. This time, we're going to focus and not die in the exact same obvious ways. While also wishing that there were, like, a power-up somewhere. Not because I really need it. It's not a hard level. It's just the weird moderating things I want to do would be easier to do if there were, in fact... No. There were, in fact, uh... Forgot those things aren't chats. Could retroactively print the Super Earth logo on them? I don't think I could. I don't have the ability to print on cookies. All I have is a laser printer, and laser printers are notoriously bad at printing on things that aren't paper. Cookies are most definitely not paper. While delicious. They are not paper. And also, I don't really want to subject my printer to that. It'd just be kind of bad for it. Interesting. I could possibly exploit butt sliding. Let's explore the up... Oh, yeah, I did clip into that. Huh. There we go. There's so much space to explore. And there's a thing below this. One of the reasons why Kaizo moderation is marginally easier is you don't have to deal with the fact that people just want to give you like a million paths through your level. Right, so that's where that led off. That area over there does... Didn't mean to re-grab. Seems kind of interesting. Reminds you of Rayman? I mean, simply dot Mario World style, here is a level, there's some small amount. This reminds me a bit like of Sonic, where there's like three or four paths, or more modern 2D Sonic, where there's multiple paths you can take, and usually the top one's the right way, but of course, you know, it depends. Much I like modern Sonic. I haven't played any Sonic in forever. Okay. Who knows, maybe when the next uh, Sonic thing comes out, I'll play it. Oh. Just baseballs in here. It does look like a mouth, though. That's kind of funny. It's got an eyeball, it's got a big smiling mouth. Oh. I lost my jump. Most inconvenient of answers to give. Yep. I spent so much time in this level and accomplished so very little. But I do think I've found my preferred route through it. If I wasn't moderating, I'd just take the route. The problem with moderating is you need to see everything. Which, interestingly enough, is still different from judging in that specific respect. In judging, you try to see everything, and if you fail, well... It's red. I hate red piranha plants. And if you fail, well, it happens. I think there's a way to get into that middle place, and that's kind of what I'm still aiming for. Let me grab some liquid.
What is- Oh, shoot. I forgot to save after doing the sewers. I turned that off for some reason. What's the rest of the level look like? I don't know yet. Oh, and I didn't even go see Yad on a floating, so I have to go back through the cutscene too. This was a huge mistake. Going as fast as we can. Yes, if you want to sit in something different, this did in fact work. That's still not the worst reset I've had to take recently. Okay. Words, words, words. And I have to do this because otherwise I don't get the orb that lets me hover, so. There's no way around this. Thankfully, at least the other level I played is completely irrelevant because you can't do anything there yet. I still suspect this town is actually secretly evil. Whenever someone comes with like a post-scarcity situation, I'm always a little bit suspicious of it. That's what I get. Alright, well at least we don't have to do that cutscene again. Get the one moon coin. The one door I didn't try. Oh, it's one of these classic kind of shops. You can just get various items. Welcome to the Guin City Item Shop. The prices are on the board to the left. Between you and me, some of them are a bit steep, but I don't make the prices. Well, a fire essence doesn't go for too much, but I personally would stock up on those. Yeah, 50 coins. Not a bad way. Maybe that's the trick with this game, is you only ever really get to, uh... You only ever really get to see other things if you... I only get power-ups, you go to that specific spot, is I guess what I'm saying. I'm trying to use the... abuse the float, and I'm not successful. To go fast. Oh, you can go under. Cool. Didn't try that earlier. Things could be a lot worse. Alright, do rock that, do that. Swim carefully. Get coin with the twin snakes. Which are like the thing for the city, they just like snakes, like white snake or something. Who doesn't love White Snake? By that I mean I can't name a single song they actually did. Alright, so there we go. We're caught back up. It took like a minute. That's what I get for leaving that enabled. And we're saved up in case someone resets again. Alright, the other level. Right, we still have to go through the cutscene. Ignore the toad. Finally get back to chapter one. It's kind of amazing to have a level 1 that doesn't actually have any power-ups in it. Like, the level just doesn't have it. Spent some more time hanging on the bridge.
Okay. Maybe we can see what the rest of the level looks like. Eventually. So I'm not sure how you actually get through that section without dying. Thought I'd be able to get through that in time and I couldn't. I think you get into that upper area through the bottom area. spot. Okay, just need to reduce my sodium levels for a moment. That's a particularly hard spot. Have good timing there. Nope. Hooray, I got through it. There's space down there. Alright, I don't think there's a way to get up there from here. I think that pipe might be indicative of there being a pipe somewhere you go into, and as such, this has been a complete, an utter waste of my time. Also, this definitely could use some slope assist tiles. I keep getting caught on the edges. Here, over the top, floating kind of interrupts my ability to do re-grabs, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, something up there too! I don't get up there! has a lot of stuff in it. Nope. I'm not sure, beyond having a cave, how one would actually get up there. And then, of course, there's still two paths. Okay, well, that's the end of the level that way. Are you kidding me? Should have gone for the end of the level. Would have been smart. Yeah, but like this level is bizarre in the sense that it's very large and none of the places you explore are remotely rewarding. <laughs> like, you can try to cram yourself into all sorts of interesting places, but everything that's just there is coins. So at least find like one of the moon coins. Which are apparently important. But I guess not. Okay, let's go find out what's past that part.
we You love these chucks that are springing, and I can't even see them while they're springing. Okay. Cool. Could you? Sprung away, please. Okay. And that's it. At the end of this, all there is, is a hole. Like, I feel like I keep getting trolled by the location, like, the extra bonus places here. There's nothing there. Okay. No, I'm not gonna get trolled by the Galoombas. That, go over here. I've done this level due diligence and change. I am ready to be done with it. Gone. Maybe it's like a Metroidvania thing where you eventually come back with better powers and can do better things. Alright, that's done. We can move on to the next stage. Hoosard, Cozenwood Forest. The treetops look way more safe, but the lower pass seems to have a lot of coins. Is that a good trade-off? Hmm. This level is just like anti. This entire hack is like anti me. Everything I do, it just doesn't seem to work. Oh, look, a power up. Uh, no. That's a, the lower limit of the level, and that's good to know. Well, let's take the lower limit for the time being. You think it's solid? It's not solid. Of course you have to try both paths. It's just the nature of things. Both paths must be tried. No. Let's get a power up so, you know, in the event that there is a Chuck that jumps in my face, I at least have that going for me. Alright, there we go. Well, that could have gone better. even come from? Of course, there's ceiling ninjis. Why wouldn't there be ceiling ninjis? Nope. I lost my... I lost my hover. <sighs> yeah, today... Oh. Today was pretty uneventful in terms of things I want to talk about on stream, unfortunately. They can, they can in fact, ignore gravity. How you doing, McEmblem? How you doing? Pop. It's their nature. It has to do with the, uh, the ninja training they get when they're children's seen the documentary on this. 
Right. I'm not embiggened. Naruto. They just run up trees and stuff. Just what they do. They get training for it, and then they can just do it. Like, they focus their key in their feet, and bam, off to the races. Mostly in order mildly ignore the project. I get that. Boy, do I get that. It's the one thing I didn't get done today that I was on my list was uh, work on April Fool's Day thing a little bit. I have, like, it half implemented. But it's not whole implemented, which is a problem, because it doesn't integrate into my system yet. It does a thing. It doesn't do enough of said thing yet. Getting there, but still. Didn't spend the time I wanted on that. Got ahead on some YouTube stuff, which is always good. And all right, well, kind of assumed that would murder me. in an opportune time. Not sure. Right. Chill. Lit House Strike Interpolation is in Rhythm Heaven. In Rhythm Heaven works the hard way, having to manually change a value in 275 different frames. Oh my. Well, my condolences. There we go. Did the low path. That wasn't terrible. The low path takes us to a hideout. Sprite interpolation. Huh. Alright, well, let's take the higher path this time. Which is to say, I'm certain there's like a somewhat middling path here. That's gonna vex me later, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. Really do not love those Goombas. Hover. Yeah, I swear, it doesn't actually matter what the level is. It takes me approximately a level to warm up while playing SMW. I do think I need to be on that very upper path. Nope, if I want this to work. Pop. I assume there is a very secret or exit here. And you need to be high up enough to get to it. Sure looks like oh there isn't a secret or exit, it's just the same exit. It's not. Huh. Alright, so the paths are roughly equivalent, and somewhere in the middle there is a secret exit. Guess we'll come back to that. Let's do the thieves hideout first. I get the feeling that like I might be missing a power-up or something. And that will make a difference later. Already glad it's not that same song. That's a really big ninja. It's a marginally smaller ninja. It's a really big ninja. Making very important observations here. Here. 
Very important. It's weird how a small change makes the game so much weirder. Anyway. Yeah, if I didn't do the cookie thing and didn't get started so late, I probably would have played Baba as you. But it didn't really suit, given how late I started. Ah! That's a completely different kind of ninja. How long is the cooldown on, uh... Reset Game Redemption? Oh, no, I don't know. It's like an hour or something. Didn't it say? Yeah, it's on cooldown. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't take me that much longer to get back to where I was. It would be very annoying at this point. I don't know why anyone would want to see that first level over again. Yep. A completely different kind of ninja looks the same as the other ones. It was a Braille character, I suppose. Want to troll me with it, but it's on cooldown. I mean, someone already did about 20 minutes ago. Really, all that. Oh, hey, I can go over the level there. I can't go over the level there. SMB2 does have the two types of ninja ones that jump in place and ones that chase and jump. I mean, the thing is, I don't think there's any ninjas in SMB2 that, um, that jump when you jump. Like, typically, SM, or the ones in SMW are the kind that, um, do the three jump, three phase jump. Anyway, now that I've gone and saved because I'm paranoid, and justifiably so, Okay, so... Is there more down there? Ugh. Like, it's weird. I feel like this hack wants to be an exploration-based hack, but it also doesn't actually want to be one. It's weird. Thwomp. I thought it was a ninja. Is that a pro ninja? Ugh. I guess in other news, I'm still reading or listening to Guards Guards. Which, I guess I didn't realize the first time I read it, is very much in the form of like the buddy cop movie style thing. Because the sheer number of dwarf troll interactions. I also appreciate what uh, Terry Pratchett's doing with trolls, where they're not just, you know, dumb rocks. Um, there's a reason they're dumb rocks. And that reason is that trolls are, um, like, their computer, their silicon-based brains uh, don't handle heat very well, and so they need heat sinks to dissipate that heat. And if they don't, if they actually do have heat sinks to dissipate the heat, they are actually fairly intelligent. Which is definitely an interesting take on the, uh, the, di the normal troll dichotomy. Of course, dwarves are still short and want to fight a lot, but, you know. You only break so many stereotypes at a time. Okay, so there's three different paths now. Which I feel is going to be a very common occurrence in this. I guess we'll take the top one first. When I saw this in queue, I was like, oh, this is going to be a nice, straightforward, easy one. No. Butt slide these, right? 
You cannot butt slide these. Mario can butt slide a lot of things. He cannot butt slide those. What a mode is that anyway? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting close to the end of that. The major crux of the whole thing is that uh, someone gets a hold of what is known as the Gon, which is, of course, a rifle of sorts. That the not quite, or the sort of, uh, with the serial numbers filed off, Leonardo da Vinci had invented, amongst other things in Discworld. Of course, it's kind of bizarre when you already have, like, one big inventor in Discworld, the, who's known as, uh, Bloody Stupid Johnson, who was apparently required, was required to do most things, but always did them poorly. Like, the beautiful, uh, koi pond he made that was, um... What was it? It's like one inch wide and 300 feet long. The one koi in it does quite enjoy it, but he can't turn around. Um, I forget which book it was. There's also one where he invents a shower. Which was installed in the Unseen University. And uh, the new dean apparently finds it's like, yes, this shower is lovely. I'm totally going to use this. And eventually discovers why nobody uses that shower. Presumably by, uh, honestly, the, the book implies rectal trauma. But. Interesting. Because it does signal that there's three paths right there. But I don't remember what book that was in. I think it might have been one of the death books. Never read the academic side of things, so it's easy to uh, miss out on specific threads. What's up, Zucati? How you doing? I'm being more careful now. All right, I have to know, even though it's probably going to kill me. There's spikes up there. a poorly drawn Euro symbol? No, I think it was indicating that it was there were three different directions. Kind of salty? Fair. Been a little salty myself today. But otherwise I can't complain too much. Got good walk-in, played a little bit of pinball. I had a really good game of, of one of my preferred machines. I'll tell you what it is, but uh, I get the feeling that pinball machine OPSEC is definitely worth doing. General theory being is that I'm pretty sure you can identify where someone plays pinball by knowing what, like, three machines are there. So, not telling, but got a good multi-ball that was worth a solid amount. Mahjong does that? I'd believe it. What's up, Noah? How you doing? But yeah, I'm still not sure where that bath thing is from. I want to say it's one of the death ones. Like, the one about sentient cities, but I don't remember which one that was. It wasn't in Small Gods. It wasn't in... Maybe it was in Pyramids? It's been a lot of times I've read Pyramids. Less of a times I've read Small Gods, so probably not Small Gods. Got time tomorrow. I've got to go on a decently long walk. Maybe I'll ask my sister if she remembers. If it's Medieval Madness? No, it is not Medieval Madness. Also, Medieval Madness is not, in fact, everywhere. But it's also a good machine. It does have a pretty simple way to get multi-ball, if you know what you're doing. But I do like Medieval Madness. But it was not Medieval Madness. You could lie and claim it's something, like, ridiculous. Like Twilight Zone, I guess, but it wasn't that either. I'd like to know if I've successfully gotten to the end of a specific route. Well, alright. Well, we'll do the other ones later. And by later, I mean, like, after this. Gah! How'd you get this far, lady? Crap! Hey, Thelma, get in here! Oh, they won't like this. Oh, no. 
Oh, brother, just what we need. Oh, you're the boss, huh? You think it's okay to steal from others? Not only that, but holding knives to their... Kid, just shut it. That's my nice That's my nice way of saying it. What's this? Who are you? I mean, it's not that hard. It's not hard to guess how you're here. You're clearly not from Prismenia. The fact that you have this misconception of what we do and why, that tells me you're in cahoots with Omelia's. Let me tell you this. The last thing you're getting brownie points for, if that's the last thing you're getting brownie points for. Shoot over your head, kid. Head already to a level you can't even describe. You look confident and smart enough. I'm willing to bet this isn't your first rodeo. That's right, it isn't. I know how this goes. Then if I were you, I'd find a new crowd, a better path, stay out of our business, or else I'm not going to be able to use my nice method anymore. No, I know what you mean. I'm here to stop. I know what I'm here to stop. You can't twist your words like this. Don't even try to justify this. It ends now. Well, can't say I didn't try. Everyone, roll up. Let's get her. This is not a very, um... He didn't try very hard. Half the people you ask, Medieval Madness, is their favorite pinball. I mean, it's just a, it, it's a good machine in general. Wait, I lost my orb. Okay. It's a little bit of a problem. Oh, don't you dare. I like the Theater of Madness, or Magic, but the box breaks all the time. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That's a pretty articulated piece. It's a common problem with pinballs, just like the set pieces break. It occurs to me now that the start button usually gets you out of a given cutscene. I really should remember that from playing any of Daiso's hacks. Alright, here's my guess, is if I murder everything in the room, I win. But the problem is the white ninja. These things are not easy to kill. They go poof, and drop on you and come from unexpected angles. out that I don't have access to my orb. Okay, nope. Gotta kill the white ninja. White ninja comics, yeah. Are they still going? A lot of web comics have fallen off. There's no benefit in getting two of them. They give me one after the uh, cutscene. No. That's a shame. Uh, at least I can skip most of this. I still have to do mo the other two paths. Okay. It's a really annoying type of boss. Every time I think I want to go for him, he does the other thing. I think what Pinball Machine used to dig pretty heavily was that Adam's family, but I don't see that one around too often anymore. I got decent enough I could get a free game on it fairly often. Medieval Madness also I can generally get a I can get a free game about once out of four times. Depends upon how uh, how my progression goes. You can get a lot of points and even a free an extra ball out of just doing the normal castle progression. Nope. 
And drops. Worth. Okay. Now we wait. Yeah, girl, you pack a punch. You're done here, Thelma. Pack it up. Leave Goon City alone. Still don't get it. Well, you know what? Fine. Have it your way. See for yourself. See for yourself how your little adventure here plays out. Huh? Kid, to be honest, I don't even hate you. I've seen people trying to, to do what you are. Your heart's in the right place, but you clearly need a push. When time comes, and you're confronted with the reality of this world, walk the path and never return. Or keep your faith and carry on. What? What are you quoting? What does any of that mean? When the aforementioned time approaches, for you, seek me out. It may not be very difficult to find me. Thelma out. See you around, kid. Go take the pipe to escape. Escape? Guys, we're ditching base. Activate self-destruct immediately. Let's go! I'm out of here. Oh. I expected the escape sequence. Jeez, what a mess. At least Goon City is safe for now, but what did Thelma mean by that? Confronted by the reality of this world. Huh, maybe they really were trying. Ah, Moonlight. I knew you'd do it. Whoa, you're here, Omelis? Oh, I get it now. You came to see the hideout, or what's left of it? Long story short, I don't think those thieves will bother you anymore. Absolutely wonderful news. Kuan City owes you a great debt. And between you and me, you're far stronger than you look. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you, your lordship. Oh, after what you've done for us, there's no need for moralities. Please just stick to calling me Omelis. Right. Man, that was a big boost of adrenaline for sure. But I'm fine now. Say, Moonlight, I have a request for you. Will you hear me out? Of course I will. Perhaps this is something to ask after all you've just finished. After you just finished what I originally gave my blessing for you to do, but please listen. One of our neighboring nations, to the southwest, the city of Og Conjure, they are a nation populated with wizards. And the capital city I mentioned is where magic is taught. And more importantly, they have an artifact that bestows the magic they use. Well, they did. It was stolen. Now they're in danger of losing their powers. Guin City and Og Conjure have certain economic deals that are put in jeopardy because of this. And the citizens of Og Conjure will suffer greatly without the ability to use their magic. Holy guacamole! A magic City, stolen artifacts? This is insane! Or insanely bad. Ah, God, sorry. You want me to go there, track down their stolen artifact, and save their magic? Precisely. Is this acceptable for you? Am I asking too much? Ah, I told you already, Omelis. Helping people and resolving hardship, it's what I do best. I can't begin to thank you enough. It means the world to me, an Og Conjure. Oh, and to get there, take the path south of the West Prism Gap. It will lead you to a public pipe that takes you straight to the region. Lastly, when you get there, find the Prime Minister. They'll help you from there. Got it. I'll save their magic in record time. I'll be in touch. Good luck, Moonlight. Link Awakening again? Very possibly. I do think she's evil, though. Thelma, you fool. You've escaped me again. Alright. That's a nice touch, actually. I can't go back to the Thieves' Hideout. So I can't check out the other paths. Vexing. All right, well, let's see if I can find the secret in this one. And my orb back, which is interesting. Yeah, I get the feeling the medium path is what I possibly want. That's the lower path. Call this the medium sketch. The medium sketch? 
Well, because it isn't rare, and it certainly isn't well done. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I think I can make it there. It's good. I was thinking that name struck me as a name I knew from another medium. Omelis. If it is what I think it is, then that's an indication that it's very likely that the, uh, the lordship is evil. Yeah, it's over there, I think. It's a short story, something like those who leave or look at Amelas or something. It's about a city-state. It looks ideal, but then you discover that they, like, torture a small child every year or something like that. Relatively famous short story. A bit like the, uh, the stoning one that everyone has to read in high school. The lottery. Or the giver. People really like the giver for some reason. One of those types of books. One of those types of stories. I don't know if I played Link's Awakening to the extent that I actually know what the plot is. Where the under upside down ninjas are. I have a choice to get off this path at some point. Kind of. Yeah, I'm not really sure there where the secondary exit is yet. Like, I was up there, and this is the lower path now. Hmm. Maybe there was a trick? Looks like Samus. I think everybody thinks. That uh, moonlight here looks a bit like Samus. It's the blonde hair and blue outfit. Blue outfit plus ponytail. Yep. Secret exit was a friend we made along the way. Possibly. Possibly. I swear those people at the front of the line just don't have money for the toll. They're stalling for time. If you actually have enough, then by all means, go ahead. Come on, how long is it going to take? I need to get back home to the mountain. Uh, and the mountain's a big climb. Any longer, I'm going to lose my patience. Can't wait to have patience. Why is everyone in such a rush nowadays? Come on, it's not like Ag Conjure is going anywhere. Sheesh, be patient. Enjoy the view of nature for once. Uh, maybe this isn't a good idea. I can pay, but like, I had a crazy night. I'm not thinking straight. I'm going to leave. I guess you can go on ahead. I think I took a bit more than I should have. I'm going to sleep it off. Relatable. Come on, just gotta wait it out and maybe I can get through without paying. Uh, hello. Going to Odd Conjure? Oh, be my guest. Enjoy the climb. Try not to fall too far. 300? Oh, you lovely piece of work. Alright. I need 300. thing to require in the middle of a game. One. The prior level would have been a better one to uh, farm from, but unfortunately I can't farm that level anymore. It's gone. Oh right, the bottom path has more coins. Time to awaken my inner Wario and go coin hunting. Thereabouts. Thereabouts. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four, five. Ah, ah, ah. Six. Ah, ah, ah. Seven. Didn't mean to re-grab there. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ah, ah, ah. Eleven. Ah ha ha. Twelve coins. Ah ha ha. Thirteen, fourteen coins. Ah ha ha. 
The rest of the coins I need. Ah ha ha. There we go. There is indeed something funky going on there. Alright, spellbinding. Now we can get past the door. If it kills me... A thought occurred. An important thought occurred. There we go. I don't think coin saved though. There we go. was a lot of coins. Chapter 2. Lost Gem, Lost Thoughts. Okay, well that's not terrible. My, uh, my brilliant plan didn't work there. I thought I was going to kill the thing by jumping through it. Again, these are all just really big, sprawling levels. Not what I was expecting in the slightest. Look, and then there's something over there. So you right now, if I have to get another 300 coins, I am done. I am literally... Side exit is on. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> it was already annoying you to get 300 coins. If you side exit or die, you have to go collect 300 more coins. Nuts to that. Save. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna cheat anyway. Let's see. That's six exits out of how many? Fifteen. It's actually just entering the first level I see is the smart move here. 300 coins. Okay, cool. Thank fuck for that. I'm really glad I saved. Because seriously, that sucks. That that's just cruel on all in all honesty. Which with the side exit. Well, I'd prefer not to die now, I think is more or less how this is going. Not good for the whole not dying thing, in all honesty. Is there a checkpoint if you die? I would assume so. No, actually, that's a valid point. Let's check that out. Why not? I've already gone through the loop. I may have just found an inadvertent cruelty. Yeah, okay. Side exit screws you if you get into it. Is absolutely a point to make. But very valid thing to check. Oh, cool! I fire flower. I fire flower now. That I should marker already done. I have already markered it. Is 
not doing that. I was ready for the other side. I want to ride it to the uh, the vines over there. Or I could ride the Bezos, I guess. Yeah, the, the Bezos is probably the easier way to do this. And I guess coins really do matter in this if you immediately have to get more coins, like, to do things. Alright, cool. You know, I thought briefly I was going way too fast down that way, and I was. Scrolling is enabled, which is interesting. Okay, when we died last... Wait for the Bezos. Gotta be polite and wait for Bezos. It's just what you do. You gotta be polite and wait for Bezos to pass. They already have a hard life. With colony collapse and everything. I'm definitely intrigued. up here. Access to this. That's nice and all. Oh, well, interesting. You can't actually hit the fence. Or at least it doesn't make a noise if you try. You know, I briefly thought I can't make that, and then I realized I have hover. Like, internally, I just got a one up. Externally, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I can get over there. Which is, do I want to go up? where the other thing was. This is a long-ass way up. I have regrets. Small ones, but regrets nonetheless. Kim was trying to encourage me to do something irresponsible. One whole coin. Be still my beating heart. Alright, so what's down here? Lag. Lots and lots of it. Actually... Oh, the green bean didn't spawn. Yeah, but it respawned, that's fine. I'll wait. Green beans and floating do not go well together, by the way. They behave quite oddly together. there, because I don't really want to take the main path. It's here. Alright, so so far this seems pretty straightforward. Just follow the maze. 
Is this Among Us? It could be. Up. No! <laughs> well, that was stupid. It was indeed mildly sus. Oh, right. Oh, it's fine. Right. I get the feeling it was at the very end of the level. But it's fine. It's not actually that long as long as I don't care about, like, collecting every coin ever. Which I assuredly do not. The one nice thing about doing multi-path things is once you've beaten a path, you no longer really care about it. So you can just kind of go immediately through it. This is definitely better an option. A better option. Ah. But yeah, I need to like make a decision about like the next non the one the next LDC that I'm not judging that I do on YouTube. The FR ones did really well. I was actually kind of surprised. Um like people actually do like seeing the Fortaleza Resnor ones. Kind of debating whether or not the next short one I would do would be that. Port of Leza Resnor is just interesting. It's a, it's a very foreign place. And I don't mean that in any sort of bad way. It just, it just is. You know. They have their own set of memes. They have their own set of, of cultural values. It's just a very different place from SMW Central. Like I said, it doesn't take too long to get back when you don't have to go and try weird things and don't run it. Koopa. Food! Has anything been said about a level design contest? Uh, nothing I can publicly tell you. I know exactly what it is. I will not be participating, but I know exactly what it is. I assure you it's being worked upon. Uh, people, people will enjoy it, I suspect. The concept seems adequate. Your game has been saved. Greetings! Welcome to Og Conjure, Magic City in the Trees. Uh, we're working on a slogan. Thank you for the warm welcome. Say, I'm looking for the leader of the city. I was sent here to see them. Where can we meet? Ah, you have an audience with the Prime Minister? Their chamber is at the very top of the city. Watch your jumps. Appreciate it. Um, I would consider, once that's done with, looking at that contest. It'd be like a one-day thing. I don't think it'd take too long. That'll be enough clues there. What am I supposed to do? If the impure impartation gem isn't found soon, I will lose my magic. But I won't be able to materialize instant ramen to eat in class anymore. Oh, the horror. You might lose your power. Wait, what? Instant ramen? Why ramen? Is that all you eat? Yes, I swear. It's the only thing that gets me through the mathematics lectures. Honestly, that's fair. I've gotten accustomed to Og Conjure, but wow, the weird fusion of city and school is something else. It's an normal system. But I got used to it. Prospective students, residents, need to prove that they have an interest in the study of magic. And once determined they have that, then they get enrolled and given a place to live. No strings. And for the Prime Minister Perspetus, Zeus, they may be the big boss, but they're probably the most down-to-earth world leader you'll ever meet. Not to mention they're a master magician. Rumor has it they're uh, quite a bit older than they let on. Can I go in the door? The city is full of magicians that can enchant me out of existence for all I know. Better not try to go in any rooms I don't have permission to. Unless I have permission to. There we go. Isn't good. With the impartation gem gone, my thesis defense was put on hold. Without magic, not at full power, I can't adequately present my work. And it's not just me who would suffer. Our abilities can vastly expedite manufacturing processes, and our industrial sector requires it to function. What will happen if Og Conjure becomes functionally useless to the planet's economy? Good question. Good question. At... 
We're still gonna do it every single door we find. It's the moderation way. Come back over here. Maybe Red's not very talkative. Just wait for him to come back. Red's not talkative, okay. Some people aren't taking the gems theft as seriously as expect, but there's some divide on both sides. Really, I kind of thought that, that, like, only being able to use magic was really cool, but it seems like it's also necessary for your city to work. That's one viewpoint. Some people aren't liking this lifestyle and think they could find another source of magic and not make learning a barrier for living here. I'll admit it's slightly hard for me to grasp because there's a lot of nuance, but clearly it shows that the gems theft has gotten some people thinking about if we should change our ways. I'm undecided, though. I can't stand Professor Von Dean. She has something against me, and I don't know why. On my coursework yesterday, I answered an easy question on how to confundulize a sovereignty into a matibular. Oh, uh, that one happened. She marked me down two points because I misspelled confundulars. Oh, come on, what relevance does a typo have to magic work? That's a load of nonsense. Imagine losing points for a minor spelling error, right? Now I'll never get the perfect semester grade academic achievement. Nope. Same thing, different spot. I think Reds just don't want to talk. There's so many doors. So many doors. I hate doors. I'm not a huge fan of the doors either. You know, gotta get out of this place. I'm not a huge fan. It's looking more than the Eagles, though. I fucking hate the Eagles. So glad I decided to move here and get a grip on my latent abilities. Magic isn't for everyone, it's a ton of work to master, but I feel like I'm doing something meaningful now. Oh, good for him. It almost be Hotel Mario. That it could. So many people here that have the wrong thought process on the gem's theft. I don't know about you. But there has to be a better way to run a city like Og Conjure. We couldn't be trying to amplify the we should we could be trying to amplify the gems effects to spread further or make more powerful or remove magic learning requirement to stay requirement to stay here. But since limited students using it for coursework, researchers, and local industry workers. What a waste. For all we know, the gem theft could be one of the way could be one of us. Anyway, with the gem Dr. Protagonist was stuck up to do. Yeah, that. Could be Hotel Mario? Oh, it could be. I did play Hotel Mario once on stream. I still have the disc and CDI around here. I could theoretically do it again. But then the CDI cried out in pain as I got partway through the game and decided I was done playing, so I don't think I want to. It's weird. That was my reaction? It's weird, that's my reaction. The gem is stolen, what? Odd Conjures isn't for half a millennium, and in its history, theft has never happened. No attempts or would-be criminals have ever been found, so what that means, it's weird someone stole the city's most important re artifact and resource. Who? I guess what matters is if the gem is found or not, but I'm still curious. Welcome to the Hotel Mario. There's a lot of doors. I'll do the same thing. Plenty of room at the Hotel Mario. I think we're at the top. Prime Minister Prospectus Chambers are one floor above. If you have business with them, speak your piece promptly and eloquently and they will listen. Gotcha. Thanks. I understand. Finally. We made it. And that, Prime Minister, would be a massive detriment to the city. Unrecoverable. We need to start sending out teams to find the gem. We need to do something. Yes, but we must be rational about it. What you suggested earlier would be ridiculous. Keep in mind that we also need to be figuring out the motives for such a high-profile incident. If we only think... Oh, is that a new face in the back? I'm saying she'd be trusted. It seems like she needs to talk. Prime Minister Persbetis. Is there something wrong? Not at all. I see we have a new face in our presence, and I would like to speak to her privately. 
Um, may you all give me the room? Of course, Prime Minister. Oh my gosh, they sensed that I needed to talk to them. This wizard is something else. I could barely see the wizard. He's hard to see against the background. Ah, welcome to Og Conjure, young one. I am Prospetus, the Prime Minister. Where'd you come from? I am Moonlight, and the city is cool. By the way, I'm overwhelmed. Eep. I am. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, this girl's a quirky one, to say the least. So, I was sent here by Omelis from the city, from Gwyn City. It's a long story. Please let me bring you up to speed. Do -do 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 -do. Expositioned. And after passing through the Sierra, I'm here. Well, this is certainly intriguing to know. Normally, Omelis never concerns herself with other nations, nations' affairs, save for the occasional political obligation. Uh, Moonlight, thank you for explaining the situation. I'm grateful that you are here. I'm going to give you some detail on our predicament. You see, our sacred artifact, the partition gem, is what bestows the magic that everybody in the city uses. But the gem is absent from its altar now, and for that, for it, that means that its power is degraded. If it is not brought back to the altar soon, our magic will be gone. Gone? Like it'll take time to regenerate if one of the gems is found? Or gone? Our magic ability is gone forever. However, I know that where the gem could be. And as the leader of any of my nation, I'm unable to lead the search for myself. We have but for one hint. As far as I'm aware, the gem was swiped during an exam lap night. The city becomes a ghost town during that time, when people are either asleep or cooped up and studying. Therefore, this understandably gives the perfect opportunity for someone to take it. Hope this doesn't seem rude, but... How was it that easy? The gem wasn't guarded at all? Under surveillance? Given any protection? Uh, not to be rude, but the simple truth is that the type of incident has never occurred in the city's history. Our crime rate is non-existent, and as such, we never pooled resources and protection. I see now that this is not productive, but in hindsight, it's 2020, as they say. Yeah. I'm trying. Looks like my next action is clear. I need to lead the charge and get your importation gem back before it's too late. Our nation would owe you a ridiculous surplus of gratitude, Moonlight. I thank you. Alas, I must return to my duties now. You are free to roam the city as you please. I recommend chatting to people around the city. Perhaps you might be told a vital clue. I figured, Perspetus, you can count on me. I'll be back with the gem soon. I really hope that doesn't mean that people start saying other things. Well, purple doesn't want to talk. Were there green people last time? I don't think there were. Trying to think, if I stole the gem, what would I do with it? Where would I go? What would I, would I use it for myself? To bring my home to my home or something? Or maybe something with ill intent would ask me to do something for them? Even if you were stealing it for someone else, you'd have to make exchange somewhere, right? Maybe like the lake? Not forbidden to go there, but it's usually frowned upon regardless. There go, people rarely set foot there. Or step foot there. Could be a perfect meetup spot. Alright, well the lake is a clue, I suppose. Yeah, things have definitely changed a little bit. We'll take one power up. Say, so you wouldn't have to know anything about the gem's recent circumstances, would you? No, I doubt I know anything more than even Prospetus. You could try asking my roommate. He used to study the properties of the gem. I don't know if he's around, but feel free to go through his notes. Our room is three floors below the item shop on the far left. Wowzer, thank you so much. Alright, well that was actually useful. One floor! Two floor. There's other than okay, yeah, we we've read that one before. Three floor. Yep, this sure is like a, a dorm room. Huh. There's a note left here. Must be from that one wizard's roommate. Let's see. Hey dude, just letting you know that I took a leave of absence from school for a while. I was given the okay by the Prospetus. I'm thankful they understand. I know we've been over this before, but I can't leave well enough alone. I'm sorry. Ever since Bone disappeared when we were kids, I've gotten more frustrated that less people seem to care every day. Viewer. Against my better judgment, I'm going to be doing some soul searching at the lake. Maybe it'll give me a hint. Maybe it'll give me it'll get me to give up. I don't know. And I don't care. Trying is better than burying her memory and pretending like she never existed. She was my friend. I could never go a day without thinking about her. I'll be back whenever I decide the time is right. Give me my regret. Give my regards to Professor Von Dean, would you? Thanks. Seems like no matter where I go, everyone 
goes through turmoil eventually. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, we read those. I don't think unless it's a green one, it's gonna be any different. Oh, I've read that one before. Let's see if I've read this one. Moving from on the Dib Chen's appearance, would it be good look? Geez, aren't we all looking at the damn thing? Honestly, I can't spend brain power worrying about it. I'd rather not think about what could happen. I'd sooner take my chances at the lake. I think that everyone's telling me to go to the lake. Pretty sure that's what everyone is trying to tell me. Alright, we'll talk to this guy just in case it's new. Nope. What? How do we get out of here? Um... I kind of thought there'd be a side exit or something. Alright, so I've been told by three different people to go to the lake. Maybe go back in here? Busy right now, couldn't bother him, I'll take the advice and ask around. Hopefully someone knows something about where I should be headed. They've all said to go to the friggin' lake! Slightly darker doors? Slightly darker doors. Um... You're right, I can get in that one. That's darker. That has the same property. Okay, well, look for that. I already went in one of them. But there might be one I missed. Really would be nice if I could descend via either side so I could check more space more quickly. That's the one I went in already. That one in the middle looks suspicious, I guess. The girl that Perspetus talked to. I don't have any new gem info, but I do have a small lead. I can't invest it myself because I don't have the pressure to do it like you do. A few hours ago, I heard people whispering about one of the lower room floors. I couldn't make out entirely, but I heard hidden behind hold down lake. No idea what that could mean. Good luck on your search. Hidden behind hold down lake. Okay. There's something hidden behind something in a lower floor. Alright. Could try pressing down. Also valid. Help. But that door appears to be enterable down there. Oh, hello! You're the young woman looking for clues about our gem. I'm just in charge of keeping watch over this room when class isn't in session. Look around, <coughs> but please don't touch the spinning masses of energy. Seriously, we tell people not to touch it, but they always touch it anyway out of curiosity. Eat it, spinning masses of energy! Down below the floor ropes? Oh, that's not a bad idea. No, that doesn't work. Guess we'll keep looking for darker doors. That's another darker door. Oh, this looks dilapidated. Being here is gonna, like, infect me with mold or something. Hidden behind... There we go! Found something! Can't go back. That's fine, too. Alright, we completed that task. That took some doing. Lake of the Lost. More reading. Why, hello! Visitors aren't normally a thing here. I'm surprised, seeing an outsider. Although I believe that everyone has reasons to be where they are, whether they know it or not. I see. Could you tell me what the deal with this lake? I want to talk to him. My Og Con and Og Conjure seemed uh, pretty spooked or off-put by it. I can. You should know what to expect, whatever your reason is for coming here. 
They call it the Lake of the Lost. It is an inlet of magical origin that traces its route millennia back. None of us have been able to find out how or why it was made. However, its magical properties make themselves clear. The lake is where discarded thoughts and feelings from all over our planet end up. Their essence coalesces into the lake, regardless of the type of entity or their magical abilities. Depending on the person who is experiencing the thoughts in the lake, they may be given form. From a teacher's, uh, from a teacher's next lesson, a mental list of chores, anxiety for an upcoming reunion, someone's love for another person, or their hopes and dreams. Though thoughts and feelings that, for any number of reasons, end up here, bouncing around the lake, it's a place that get, get people uncomfortable, gets people uncomfortable, overwhelmed, unsure, questioning. Perhaps now that you understand why so many are ambivalent about the lake, but I can tell you that you intend on venturing inside. Yes, I have to, but knowing this all now, I'll keep my guard up. I feel like the last thing I need right now is to have my mental state impa impacted too much. It is up to you on what you seek out and how long you stay inside. For what it's worth, the lake is fully oxygenated and you won't need any special equipment or abilities to breathe there. Regardless, that is all there is to know about the lake. I pray that you find what you seek, Traveler. So do I. Thank you for the help. Well, at least if it's a lake... No, it's still going to be like multiple paths and a million coins hidden around everywhere. Hello. It's a piece of paper underwater. How's this legible? Wow, that really worked. I actually got the interview. What the hell? Or how the hell? I have every possible qualification they could want. No way I don't get this job. Good lord. If this experience has taught me anything, it's to stay optimistic. No date. No name given for this writer. Just a message and nothing else. Wait, this handwriting. It doesn't really look like handwriting, almost. Unnatural? The way it's written? It looks like it wasn't written by someone. But also not typed on a computer, either. Is this what that man meant? I wonder... Okay, it's no ordinary paper. It's impossible to rip. So this must be the lake's doing. I suppose the lake is going to show me these things... Show me these things this way. I should be on the lookout. Alright. I see what the uh, the game's going for. It's gonna be one of these. It's basically st Star Road, Star Hill, from Mario uh, RPG. Did I mention I appreciate the checkpoints? This is a completely different location than when I spawned. Like, I'm nowhere near where I was before. Uh... It's the game assumed I wouldn't be dumb enough to die there. You know, the fish I couldn't see. Never mind. I could see that one. I still died to it. The ability to see fish is unrelated to the ability to actually be successful. Yeah, this hack's had good music so far. Oh, I wanted to be on the other side. In order to go down the left side, I guess I have to follow through the maze. I don't like the purses. I don't trust them. There's a pipe here. Oh god, he's fast! I want to leave. What's up, Groovy Gadget? How you doing? I'm currently lost in a big, watery maze. I'm somewhat confounded by what's been happening. What's the point?! Like, I just keep getting killed by fish I can't see. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do there? I'm gonna nuts to the maze. I'm gonna go the other way. There's less of this nonsense that I can't see through. Not 
none, just less. In enemies, yup. Oh, okay, so this is the beginning level. Alright, so I'm not missing much. How you doing, no pointless? Trying to find five exits you missed in SMW to 100% it? I would say check Star Road would be my first piece of advice. If you're trying to find, like, a specific missing thing. But... There's a few other, like, tiny exits, but I don't want to spoil other things. Just make sure you have all the bi-directions on Star Road first would be my suggestion. If you're looking for hints. Okay, I think... I want... The exposition over here? Don't forget the milk this time, he says. Don't go there on your own after 2 p.m., he says. Don't tell anyone about what I... Yeah, why do I keep doing this myself? Here I am in the grocery store, continuing my day like nothing's wrong. I want to scream. I want to get out of this. How do I do it? What do I do? I can... Wait, wait, wait. He trusts me enough to go to the grocery store, Triple O, and he thinks I won't tell. I think they think, what can I do here? I can do that here. Think. Oh, he told me about... That's right! He's gonna start... A business, he's going on a short business trip in two days. I've been able to put up with this stupid ass facade for a while now. He's not talking to taking me on the trip, so that means I'll be alone. That's it. That's my chance. It's it's time. It's time I'm gonna be free. Run as far as my legs will go. My life will finally be changing around soon. I need to get ready. I didn't want that. This has been a hard hack to moderate, just because it's difficult to know where I've been and where I'll need to go. Okay. A lot of down in this. Okay, well, that's an option. That's death. It's not certain how any of this fits together yet. That's... is the beginning of the level? Yes. Okay, cool. I know where I am now. Took a surprising amount of time to figure it out, but, you know, got there eventually. Is that a weird critter? Don't really know that sprite, but I don't think I really appreciate it either. Should have gone through the other pipe. Step on the health. Almost put me to sleep. I think this might be a two-parter. Not to mention I have to go back and do that one thing again. Okay, so this put me back here. This is an option, so we're gonna take this option. Trust them at all. I don't trust fish. All right. Well, that was nothing. Now, what's happening? I hear the voice inside my. I don't want to be doing this, but I think it'll get her attention. It's not right. It's not right. I haven't even met her myself, but I know this isn't right. Uh, with the nut jobs I deal with in this line of work, I'm going to end up in a ditch someday. But for now, this is what the client asked me to do, so I'll do it. Whatever. Please, the client. After I hand this thing over at the rendezvous, I'm making a beeline back to Asavia. The last thing I need is an army's worth of magicians hunting me down. Ooh, Lake can do that? Sheesh, at least I'm not crazy. I didn't recognize that voice. Was it even a man or a woman? It was pretty androgynous. 
It's unfamiliar, though. Not the person, but what they were talking about. Did the lake just tune me into the thoughts of the person who stole the gem? There is so much reading in this. What the hell are they doing? Ooh, sometimes it comes upon me that the time I first spent with Moonlight and her friend after initial meeting, it was a blip, a minuscule fraction of time in comparison to my existence prior. And yet, had that not happened, I would still be haunted by the Demon Ghost King, literally. It is astounding how much those days changed everything. The King gone forever. Not that there hasn't been trouble, especially with the incident at uh, Lord Monumentus, but I think I understand. Perhaps my creator allowed me to be more open-minded than anyone realized. An existence of peace, of making people laugh and smile, that is what I do now. And instead of working under a ghost tyrant, I now live with a ghost... nerd. The best ghost I have ever met. Perhaps I feel content right now. I find myself wishing for the presence of Moonlight again, but I know she will return. I hope she is content as well. Simplamo? There's no mistaking it. Ah, oh, it sounds like he's doing alright. Miss you too, Sp Simplamo. You broke everything away from your awful master. Or you broke away from your awful master, and somehow you managed to help me get over my robophobia. One of the most meaningful things that someone has ever done for me. I owe a lot to you, buddy. And I'll know when to come back. Uh, I know when to come back. And I know you'll be there waiting for me. They done? They eventually finished doing that? Guess not. Those are weird. Oh, so many pipes. Well, being shorter will help. Help with checking a lot of pipes. So many pipes. It's not a pipe dream. It's a pipe nightmare. Okay. Seahorses from Wario Land 1. That makes sense. For some variety of sense. Another person at the lake? Oh my. Yeah, I'm Moonlight. You're from Odd Conjure, right? Actually, this is a long shot, but listen. I was led here by a wizard who led me to find in a note. Their roommate left to go to the lake and find a clue about their missing friend. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. I'm Psycon. Nice to meet you, Moonlight. Truthfully, I'm glad to have someone to talk to. I know you read my notes, so you basically know my situation. Psycon, I'm happy to. I know about your missing friend, Bonne. Look, I may be a fairly young traveler, but I've seen things worth a lifetime, and I'm only 18. The way you were so dedicated in the letter to finding out something about her, I know you were both really close. We were are the best friends. We aren't just good company. We're friends who did everything with each other. We did homework together, talked about our lives, our struggles. She isn't just another one of the school's preppy, annoying kids. And she stood up for me because I was too cowardly to do it myself. I'm 23 now, and that means it's been 10 years. What happened to her, Psycon? Many of us were at Og, at Og Conjure were sent by our parents once we turned 11 and the local tradition... In the local tradition. Bonnie and I met shortly after our induction, and once we hung out more, we became inseparable. But you know, we were close... Fast forward around two and a half years. On a night that we were both working on magic science... Magic science. Assignments. In our rooms. We were goofing off, procrastinating our work, and talking. I asked Bonnie if she could go down the, to the item shop and get some snacks, and that was the last time I saw her. After 15 minutes, I started wondering if there was a line at the shop that late. After 20 minutes, I decided to go down there myself and went outside and into the item shop. I asked the older student employee if Bonnie had come in. They said she hadn't, and that it had been dead for over an hour. I started to slowly panic. I asked the employee if they saw anything, anyone. They only said that they saw what looked like a tallish person run by, but it was too dark to make out any of the features. It was the dead of night, so I conjured a small fire in my hand for light, and I saw a few students moseying around and approached them. But only one of them had seen anything, and when the student told me what they had saw out loud, we both had a realization. They saw a shorter person, my height, being rushed along by another taller person, but they were too far behind. They were too far, and it was too dark to see anything important. Bonnie was kidnapped, without question. 
Those dark figures were Bonnie and someone else. We burst into precipitous present chambers and woke them up to inform them what happened. They put the city on high alert and sent out search parties, but as you probably guessed, we never found her. Ten years later, even Prospratus has seemed to have given up. I'm infuriated, I'm frustrated, I'm sad. My best friend was kidnapped and we have no leads on who or why. That's what happened. My goodness, that was just crushing. I can't believe that was ever able, even able to happen. That makes even more sense why you're here. What did the lake show you? Anything useful? I can't tell. It seems to show me the thoughts of someone else I missed, who also witnessed Bonnie's kidnapping. It doesn't really point out anything. I don't already, or anything I don't already know. I guess this might have been a dumb endeavor after all. Don't say that. Think about what you saw. You're on a leave of absence from school, so use it. I know you can figure out something, any kind of lead. I wish I could help, but I have my own duties. Thank you, Moonlight. But it's all right. This is my responsibility. I can handle myself. Maybe I should stay here and collect my thoughts. It's not a bad idea. Moonlight, thank you. Thank you for coming here. I hope our paths cross again soon. Me too, Zycon. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. So many words. I think it's so difficult if you can never know the SMW. You're a kid when you played the game a lot and you got like 80 exits, but today you stopped in Vanilla Dome on the raft level. It's not an easy level. Not a hard level, but not an easy level. What was that? It's like 3 a.m. or something. Come on, looks like, no, maybe that was a woman? Perhaps, or seemed pretty fleet footed. Good lord, what are they doing? I can't tell from here. Wait, there's a kid too? Students? Why is everyone staying up so dang late? They're going way far down. Man, they're leaving the city. They must be travelers or something. Anyway, what the hell was I doing? Hmm. I found a place I'm supposed to be, I guess. Giving Dizor a run for his money? Yep. Can't argue with that. This is not what I expected when I picked this up. To the man who ran into a fish. Like, for a hack that has such space and exploration, I really expected to see more coins. Like, the coins themselves seem a bit sparsely... the weird twin snake coins. Seem very sparsely populated. Uh... We've already read this one, I think. Probably not supposed to be up here. Yeah, that would cause it. I hit the sprite that you're supposed to get when you're getting out of that pipe. Let's put a marker down because I'm probably not supposed to be up here. Which is odd because the rest of the game really discourages you from going over the ceiling by, you know, killing you. I'm definitely touching the, the floor. You can see, going slow there. I'm going to keep going. It's not going to stop me. I might regret it at the end of the level, but you know. Like the feeling I get is like every level is this big ass cube. Yep, okay. Well, that's useful. Like every single level is just a big friggin' rectangle. Oh, hello. I'm in the level now. Cool. And get out? Yeah, there we go. Have I been here before? Do I know how to get here? Why did I run into the fish? Maybe probably because I'm tired. I don't know how I, I don't know how to get here outside of clipping through the floor, so that's not good. No, no, you stupid per- It's probably for the best. Okay, so... Like, this is the kind of hack that isn't hard to play, but is very hard to moderate, just because of all of the space to search. There is so much search space in this. Uh, 
like go through the pipes or don't go through the pipes. Like this is an area I got to via pipes, which has these irritating purse critters. There's a yeah, this guy. There's the seahorse. This is at least a new area that I haven't been through yet. Yeah, you're not over there. Looked at the clock for a second. Turned out to be a very bad mistake. Okay, that's an area I've been to. I like how it flings out some fire flower, even though there's no good reason for that to happen. And of course, the seahorses are immune to fire flower. Lovely. As are the purses. As are the fish. Nah, the fish is fine. Fish behaves as expected fish-wise. Can I get in there? Um, no, I got in there before. I think. Every coin soul I eat will make it easy to get back. Delicious, delicious coiner souls. Yeah, this looks familiar now. I think I am pretty close to the far edge of the level. Nope. I swear those always do the thing I don't want them to do. Science, blah blah blah, calculus, covered that, blah blah blah, modern history, crap, history, I don't need to go over that part of the curriculum again. Where was, oh, here it is. Modern history of Prismenia and its neighbors, let's see, recent economics, major political events, most recent rulers for each country. I covered Agconjur and Clarinata already. I need to do Asvadia and Prismata itself. But Prisminia should be pretty easy. That place has been stagnant for a while now. After Amelis came into power back then, that place has been like the perfect city. Wish I had the income to move there, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, let's start the lesson plan. Okay, well, that was interesting. Okay. Very sad I lost my fire flower. Found the orb. Doesn't help because I don't think I actually care about finding the orb. I think I care about finding clues or something. Nope. Nope. Alright, since none of those go anywhere, I'm getting the orb. I'm going to see if this pipe goes anywhere, and then I'm getting the ore. Excellent. Ore. But... Wait, there's more. More... There's still a couple spots I didn't check, and there's a few papers I definitely didn't read. Just always a bit terrifying. Trying to figure out what the fastest way there possibly could be. At least the most consistent way. Because I didn't get the power-ups because I don't have the midway. I guess I could have start selected out. Okay, I went down here. I didn't go over here. Oh, wait. No, I did. That's through the pipe area. I went there. I read that, because that, that pipe was the one that drops you out with the message. The purple, hard-to-read message. 
And then I get the fire here, which is cool. A little bit of slowdown, but that's fine. There's a pipe here. I don't think I tried this pipe. That pipe doesn't go anywhere. Did I come here? I don't know if I did. So I think this is a newish area. No, I've been here before. No, I haven't been here before. This is a newish area. I thought he and I were inseparable, so why are we drifting so far apart? Friends aren't always forever. I know that's true, but why this? I want the courtesy of at least being told why he doesn't want to be friends anymore. Why he's tugging at my heart like this. No one likes losing friends, but this is too drawn out. I need to go to his apartment, face to face. That's what I'll do. Best friends are supposed to be honest with each other. I hope he'll be. Like the sad version of Star Hill. Lesson plans. Abuse. Friendships drifting apart. The lesson plan is probably the most depressing part, though. This is new. Nobody ever told me how difficult it is to process this feeling. Recognizing you're in love with is one thing, and that took me, what, over a month? But to process it, comprehend that you've crossed some invisible threshold, and now? They're, like, on another level to me now? Someone I never stopped thinking about? It's a wonderful feeling, but it's also an odd one. Eh, <laughs> my brain is always has a segment reserved for them now. At least I'm feeling pretty good about them, and they're recipro still reciprocating too. I don't know what I would want us to be, if anything. Maybe it, we don't need a label. If things work out, I know I'd be happy just being whatever we are, together. As long as I get to see their smile more, that's all I need. I don't like this. I don't trust this, like, algae stuff. And that explodes. Why did that explode? The mirror, it happened. I can't believe. It just happened. When I looked in, in my mirror, I saw me, and I don't know what clicked. I woke up this morning and just all, and see what I always wanted to see? I can finally say that I'm happy with what I saw. I see myself. No, I'm not just makeup, no fancy dresses, cute skirts, only me. You go back to Clarinetta. I think it's time to talk to him again. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. This is insane, I'm happy. All right. Feeling I know what that was about. these things. Oh, I found one of these things. <laughs> Took a while. Moonlight. Arg! I can't believe this journey is almost over. Why do you have to be so likable? It's goddamn annoying. Here we are, marching to Kosha's lab for probably the last time. I'm getting sad. Once I go back to Peridia, I don't think I'll be able to... Nothing, nothing. Forget it. I can do it. Just take me down that... Just take down that asshole monumentous. Make sure the sophisticated crystal is safe, as I was like I was instructed to do. But maybe, just maybe, when she has the time, I can ask Zeria to try and make some modifications to the warp station. Sakari? It's while we were preparing for our final battle with monumentous. It's been three years already. I miss you beyond belief, Sakari. I'd do anything to see you again. Maybe you could take me to Peridia. Like we joked about, except I meant it. Why didn't she tell me she felt that bad about it? My gosh, I cried when we hugged goodbye. Wish she uh, could have said more, uh, said her feelings more. It's gonna be on my mind now. No, not again. I, mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Sakari again. It's been like a year since I played the Sakari, newest Sakari hack. Good stuff. Um. The only place I can think of that I really need to get back to is that evil pipe room. I don't know how to get there. Maybe right from here? Or is this just- no, this just takes me back to the right-hand side of the game. Which isn't where I want to go. Hey, Libby. I 
Okay, I'll take that. Completely unexpected, but I'll take that. Yeah, we end up at the weird pipe room. I came. I swear those things do the worst thing. No, I came out of that into that pipe. So I had to figure out how to get back to that pipe. So much space to search. Okay, so how did I get to the pipe room? I think what I did was... I went this way. No, I didn't go this way. Um, what I think I did was I went the other way. Down this way. Which put me in here. I try this pipe? No, this pipe took me to the big to the two angry fish room. Which in turn puts me over th there. Yeah, this isn't where I need to be. Know how to hug the right wall there, because that fish is in the middle. You go through this pipe, which takes you to the land of fishes. Sometimes invisible ones, but fish nonetheless. Yes. This. This seems right. Okay, get through here. Let's be in the evil pipe room. It's a fully stocked pipe room, really. That pipe up there took me somewhere. Okay, I think there's only one pipe that comes out of here, which is useful to know. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. And then I did the middle pipe. Let's try the left pipe and see where this takes me. Nowhere! Okay, cool. So we've done due diligence with this entire area, I think. Uh, actually, almost. I think I died like four seconds after going through this pipe. So where does this take me? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, we've done due diligence. That's that's over with. Let's save if it'll let me save. Okay. Heavy hack. Heavy hack. Not really sure what I was expecting when I picked it up, but definitely a heavy hack. I think it's going to need to be a, a two for because I only have like nine exits and it's like 17 to finish so 15 to finish all right still gonna be a, a two two for unfortunately took way too long in that first area really stupid that is what happens sometimes and i need to go back and check out the weird castle i can't get back to to try the other two alternative paths but we'll deal with that later